It says Edinburgh's DJ Craig Strachan, aka Sestaniano, jailed for rape. Sesente, what's that? How do you say his name? Sesentiano. Sesentiano. Not gonna lie, I don't know much about the guy. I've not even read. The, I've not even read the story. But you know, if we say sometimes you got to judge a book by its cover, I think you have to judge a DJ name by its cover. That name sounds a bit sus. That name alone sounds a little bit R wordy. You know what I mean? Sesten Sesteyadu. Jesus. Anyway, um, a bit wild as well because you don't really see people get jailed for rape. So this this must have been he he must have really did that shit because rape rape convictions are um you know they're not widespread for the most part, especially in the UK at least anyway. So it says, yeah, Strachan, who also performed as Craig Saint, was sentenced to six years in prison. Um, an Edinburgh DJ has been jailed for six years for rape. Craig Strachan, a.k.a. Sesente Yanu, received a sentence following a trial at the High Court in Stirling last Tuesday. Um, STV News reports jurors took less than an hour to find a 33-year-old guilty. Yeah, he's definitely lived a hard life, isn't it? He's 33 years old. Fucking hell, he looks way older than that. Strachan admitted to the crime on YouTube. In t he admitted to the crime on YouTube in 2002. Quote, I had sex with her when she was sleeping. It lasted about 10 seconds. She was in my bed. And as soon as it happened, I instantly knew, shit, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Excuse me, sir? Was that your defense? Was that your defense? I made a mistake. She was sleeping while I did that. It was a mess. What? Yes, mate. That's that's not even mate. Yes, that is rape. What a fucking freak. God almighty. Despite this admission, Strachan later pleaded not guilty to rape, claiming he thought his victim had in fact been awake and consenting. Jurors took less than six, um, less than an hour to find him guilty. He was placed on a sex offense register. That's good. He should be on there for life. Yep, for life. And made subject to a non-harassment order banning him from approaching and contacting the victim for 20 years. Judge Fiona Tate um, commended the victim for her courage for giving evidence, especially in the difficult circumstances of publicity, which online discourse attracted. Strachan performed regularly at her hometown venues as Bongo Club, La Belle, La Belle, what's that? La Belle Ang Angeli, the Mash House over the years. His music released through labels as New Panda Records, Craft Undergrounds, 10, 1809 Records, and more. Recently, he adopted the moniker Craig Saint. So he's tried to move away from that name to get bookings. Was he still getting booked? Let me see. Because the, the fucking dance music scene is so egregious and so disgusting. Was this motherfucker still getting booked while he was on fucking trial for rape? Let's see. Because he, when he get convicted this year, right? October. Let's see. I better not see any dates on here. I better not see him on any lineups on here. It's loading in a minute, but I better not see any lineups of this guy while he was on trial for fucking rape. Because that would be fucking egregious. Let's see as it loads. We'll go through both his names too. So the one name, Sesentiniano. Any bookings? Let's see. Past. Let's click here. When's his last booking? I guess this is also not accurate, accurate, you know, whatever, because he might have had bookings under the table that weren't on here. But yeah, okay, cool. Fair enough. Booking stopped in 2019. That was the last one. August 2019, he played an event called Funk Presents in Glasgow at a place called Nice and Sleazy. Jesus Christ, what a name, you know, and what a person to book for that sort of event. And then as his moniker, Craig Saint, let's see the last event. Don't piss me off. 2001 okay oh that was a live stream okay cool so his career kind of was over that's good that's a good thing to know thank god the industry did, didn't disappoint me thank god the scene didn't disappoint me for once this guy i think I, i'm assuming this rape happened around 20, 2019 i'm assuming based on what's happening here and he the bookings completely stopped and dried up and the last thing that he did public facing was a live stream under craig saint on the 20th of november 2021 okay good to see there but yeah um credit goes out to the victim honestly and um, force of feelings go out to them can only imagine how hard that was to go through especially in scotland you'd imagine this the scene there's probably smaller than it is in london so probably everybody knew who it was that reported him locally pe rumors being spread people getting into your business and shit it must not have been easy do you know what i mean to probably put this out there so um strength and solidarity and prayers to the victim Hopefully they're happy now that this guy's in prison for six years. I don't think six years is enough, personally. 
We're going to read another story, by the way, which kind of shows you how fucked up, you know, the fucking judicial system is in general. Because I think this guy should have got 16 years or 60 years, not six. That's way, that's way too low. But regardless, um, we don't get a lot of rape convictions in general in the court. So it's a good thing to see somebody getting punished for this as well. And um, yeah, we don't even need to go through the, the, the whole thing in it about the girl sleeping and you thought it was like, that's not consent, bro. That's definitely rape. So um, yeah, um, rot in prison. And, you know, he's on sex offender register forever anyway. So his career is basically over. Um, he should definitely be filling out applications when he comes out. Um, and what I wanted to say here about sentencing, look at this story. Look at this fucking story. Police officer, police officer, Andrew, ex-detective, gets 19 years in jail for stealing 4 kg of cocaine from work to sell in Manchester. Now, obviously, he's stealing and selling drugs. Police officer, I get it. But this guy got 19 years for selling Class A drugs to adults who are willing to buy Class A drugs. And this motherfucker that raped a girl while she was asleep only got six years. You see what I mean? Yes, both are crimes. Yes, both are bad. But surely somebody that raped somebody should get way more than a guy that's selling drugs to, you know, it's not, it, it's even, it'd be different if he was smuggling them himself. These are drugs that he was stealing from the lockup at police stations and whatever he worked at and trying to shut them. He was a bit of a dummy. I think the story goes that he was actually trying to use the police system to find dealers and stuff to sell the drugs that he was stealing from the evidence lockup. Fucking insane. And you know how you got caught? Do you know how you got caught? I bet you do. Here's how he got caught. This ex-detective, Andrew Talbot, got caught because as he was going to go pick up his kids at their primary school, a bag of coke dropped out of his pocket. That's how he got caught. So I'm assuming when the bag of coke fell on the, out of his pocket onto the floor, somebody from the school probably handed it in. A teacher, a parent, a kid. Oh, miss, look what I found. They went through the CCTV. Oh my God, what the fuck? Saw it was a fucking, the parent and reported him to the police. The police opened an investigation and then we got where we are now. What a fucking idiot. So let's, let's play the video. This is the police officer walking to pick up his kids at their school. And as he puts his hands in his pocket to go get something, the Coke, the baggie of Coke falls out. Crazy. One baggie. So one baggie of Coke was the reason why. Oh, no, it wasn't even. No, it didn't even fall out of his pocket. It looks like it falls out. Maybe it looks like he's got like a back pocket. And maybe maybe when he did a car driving, the thing was rising up in his pocket. And as he got up, he didn't notice that it was at the top of his pocket. And as he's walking, it kind of dropped out. But that one bag of coke that you're probably doing daily, he got he then got you know found out that four kg was being stolen. Fucking crazy! Look at him. <laughs> 